Hi guys, so while the British government has been attempting to keep the DUP happy, Sinn Féin's Michelle O'Neill explained rightly how the DUP's position to not take up the role of Deputy First Minister should have nothing to do with the protocol because it is not within the scope of the Northern Ireland Executive. This of course was seen as a rebuttal directed at the largest unionist party, which came second to Sinn Féin, but also as a response to the British government and its attempts to appease the DUP. Have a listen. Well, we made a commitment the whole way through this campaign. We've always been committed to making politics work. I believe in that. I believe in getting an executive up and running today. There should be no delay. There's no reason for a delay. Anything that happens in this executive and this assembly will not change the protocol. There are things within the protocol that could be ironed out, a smoother implementation, and we're up for that. We've always been up for that. But what I'm not up for is the DUP's approach of holding society to ransom, preventing us from being able to spend money to help people, to put it right into their pockets to deal with the cost of living crisis, to start to fix their health service. That's what the public expect of us as political leaders. Find solutions, make things work, not the politics of the DUP, to stay out of an executive whenever the rest of us are here, as we promised the electorate that we would turn up on day one. Everybody's here today wanting to do business together, to start to put the executive uh, together, but the DUP are still accept saying to everybody in the world that's listening on today that they do not accept the democratic outcome of this election. I don't think that is tolerable in anybody's mind. It wouldn't work anywhere in the world. It wouldn't work anywhere else in the world. Um... Now, what is the DUP doing here? The DUP has said, we're not going to take up the role of Deputy First Minister because of the Northern Arm Protocol. We want the Northern Arm Protocol scrapped or fixed, whichever, I don't know. That they, they're not sure themselves, I think. But they want the Northern Arm Protocol resolved, problems resolved, before they will join the executive. But as she pointed out here, the Northern Arm executive has no control over the protocol. Who has control over the protocol? It's Boris Johnson's government. If there's changes to be made, it's between Boris Johnson's government and the European Union, not the Northern Ireland Executive. So the, the DUP, and sadly the British government are going along with the DUP here because the DUP are saying we're not going to join the executive because of the protocol, but the executive has no control over the protocol. The people who have control, as I said, is Boris Johnson. So this is an attempt to strong arm Boris Johnson, a case of the tail wagging the dog here, because Boris Johnson is the one with the 80 seat majority, not the DUP. Why should the DUP dictate terms to the British government? You know, it would be like the Green Party dicta dictating a policy to the British government with one seat or two seats in the House of Commons. That wouldn't fly and the British people would not accept that. So why should it be accepted in Northern Ireland? Now, of course, Northern Ireland is a different case. There, Because of the Good Friday Agreement, it requires uh, both communities to be represented in the executive. But the DUP are deliberately blocking the executive from beginning its work over something that the executive has no control over. And this is unacceptable. As she pointed out here, the executive is required in order to make sure that the, the people of Northern Ireland are able to deal with the cost of living crisis. Um, otherwise, it's the control returns to Westminster. And we've seen how that works. So it makes more sense to have money sent to Northern Ireland, have the, the, the politicians in Northern Ireland see how it's best spent, not Westminster. Now, is this issue going to be resolved? I don't know, because uh, this morning Tory politicians were giving interviews in the media talking about how, well, the protocol needs to be fixed and we need to negotiate with the EU and the EU need to come back to the table and the EU need to be flexible. So when the DUP say we're not going to join because of the protocol and because of the EU, the response is pretty much the same from the British government, which is unacceptable. The DUP should not be allowed to block the uh, pro block the executive. So I think we're going to see this stalemate continue for the next number of months. If it's not resolved within six months, it'll probably mean further elections. And this, I think, is going to damage the DUP. Because the people, ordinary people, voted on the issue of the cost of living crisis. They voted the Alliance Party, the Sinn Féin, those two 
parties principally and the DUP in order to fix the cost of living crisis, not the protocol. And as Michelle O'Neill pointed out here, you know, the protocol is not perfect. We There are things that can be fixed, but the DUP's goal is to remove the protocol completely and replace it with what? Well, we don't know. They've never said what they want to replace it with. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.